Hello, today, uh, since it snowed here in Kentucky, I figured I'd go ahead and get an early start on um, turkey season, start patterning some shotguns. Uh, today, I'm gonna shoot a Remington 870 Express Magnum, chambered in three inch, 12 gauge. Also gonna be shooting Remington 870 Express Youth Model 20 gauge. Both of these shotguns today are fitted with a tightwad Primos choke. We're gonna be shooting Federal ammunition for both. The 12 gauge is a three inch ounce and seven eighths six shot. The 20 gauge is gonna be a three inch inch and a quarter ounce five shot. We're gonna be patterning uh, the 12 gauge at 30, 40, and 50 yards. And we'll be patterning the 20 gauge at 30 and 40. Um, so stay tuned, we'll get set up and we'll get started. First up, we're going to be shooting at our, our target back here with the uh, 20 gauge uh, Remington Express 870 uh, with our Federal 3 inch Magnum. We'll go down range now and uh, get the target. Well, looks like I Shot a little high, but we have a pretty decent pattern out of the five shot. Not the best in the world, but it would definitely kill a turkey. Well, we're set back up. I got my target set back up. We have 30 yards. This time we're gonna shoot the Remington 870 12 gauge express magnum with a three inch federal six shot. Go down range again, see how well the 12 gauge did, 30 yards. Well, that did whole lot better i still believe i shot a little high um, but more than good enough to kill turkeys at 30 yards with the 12 gauge well we're set back up i moved my target out on 10 yards we're going to pattern the 20 gauge first at 40 yards We'll take a look and see how how we're doing at 40 yards i'm going to try to use the the 20 gauge for my son he'll be turning six in the fall and i want to see if we can't get him set up to see if he can shoot one out of a hunting blind uh, don't anticipate he'll be able to shoot one at 40 yards but i just want to see the capability of the shotgun well from just the first glance that's definitely not going to be successful at 40 yards for him. 
looks like the max is going to be about 30 yards as far as I'll let him attempt to shoot one with uh, the 20 gauge. Got us another target up at 40 yards. We're going to pattern the 12 gauge. Hopefully, the 12 gauge will be a whole lot better pattern at 40, as this is the gun that I'm going to use for the majority of my turkey hunting this year, this season. But as you can tell, being February the 17th, we're nowhere, ready, nowhere near uh, ready to hunt turkeys since it snowed about 14 inches here yesterday alone. You wouldn't think that much for central Kentucky, but it, it did put a lot of snow down. Let's check this pattern out. Well, that's a, a little better. Still not what I was hoping for. Uh, we'll probably try some different shot out. Um, if this is a turkey's head, you know, you got enough to kill him with those six shots, but we'd definitely like a, a little better pattern than that. Uh, we're going to move it up to 20 yards and just see what it'll do as far as that pattern. Um, 40 yards is going to be stretching it for this gun as well with that load. Well, we uh, of course looked at that 40 yard pattern out of the 12 gauge and it wasn't what we had hoped for with uh, the Federal 6 shot. So we've moved this up here to about 20 yards just to give us an idea of what the pattern would look like if a turkey came into that range. So we'll shoot this last shell, get wrapped up, and then uh, after I get everything cleaned up here at the range, we will move over and take a look at the targets. We'll go down and take a look at this 20 yard pattern and get everything cleaned up and, and look at all the targets side by side. As you can tell, that's an extremely good pattern out of that choke to 20 yards. So with Tightwad Primos, the 870, you're looking at 30, 35 yard gun. With, uh, with the ammo that we're shooting today, which is a Federal um, six shot. Um, but that's a heck of a pattern right there. That's one dead bird. Well, we're back here. We got the, the range cleaned up. Uh, we're finished shooting today. Um, looking at these targets a little bit. Like I said, we were shooting uh, both of these guns here. This is the Remington 870 Youth Model 20 gauge with the Tightwad Primos. Uh, the one next to it is a Remington 870 Express Magnum, 3-inch chamber, 12-gauge, with the same Tightwad Primos choke. Uh, we were shooting uh, Federal 12-gauge um, and 20-gauge loads today. And looking at the 20-gauge first, I pulled a little high. Pattern was fairly decent. You still have some holes in it. And, um, you know, this is just cheap uh, Walmart ammunition. Uh, no flight control wads or anything of that nature. No heavy shot. Um, definitely not a gun that I would like my son trying to shoot a turkey at 40 yards with. I just don't think there's enough shot, enough uh, pellets in that paper to ethically kill a bird. Um, as we move on across, here's the 30 yard target for the 12 gauge. Pretty good pattern, but once again, I believe I pulled a little high. Uh, if this is a turkey head, the majority of my shot would go over it. So maybe the next time that I pattern this, I will shoot more to aiming towards the wattles or the base of the neck. And we'll see how that pattern does. Um, at 30 yards 40 yards um, you know you got one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen about 20 shot here in line with this if the the neck was straight up and down um, it would kill the bird but definitely not the the pattern that i'd want to be shooting um, 
at 40 yards at a bird. Uh, I know this target here says 50 yards, but like we said on the video, we, after the 40 yard pattern looked like this, I definitely was not gonna shoot this gun at 50 yards because I know it will not ethically kill a turkey that far. So I backed this target into 20 yards just to see what the shit, six shot out of the Federal did at that distance. And as you can see, that would be an excellent pattern. If we could get this pattern at 30 yards, this pattern at 40 yards, um, I believe I'd be pretty happy with the gun. I, I don't normally try to shoot birds any farther than 40 yards. Um, I know there's ammunition, choke tubes and stuff out there, but I don't try to spend hundreds of dollars on choke tubes and five dollars a shot on shotgun, shotgun shells. So hopefully uh, this review will help somebody out. Uh, it let me know that my 20 gauge is about a 30 yard gun right now. And my 12 gauge is 30 to 35. Uh, 40 yards will be pushing it with this ammunition. Um, as turkey season approaches, I'll get a little bit more ammunition, some different types, maybe look at a different choke for the 20 gauge for my son, um, and we'll go from there. Uh, there'll be more to come. Thanks.